Hi dancers, welcome to my channel. I'm Claudia Dean and this is little Kenzie Andrews who's from Beverly Prange Dance Centre in Rockhampton. Kenzie's just nine years of age. Today I'm going to take you through a highly requested tutorial which is how to get split grongettes. I'm going to take you through a few exercises and demonstrate these on Kenzie. And like, comment and subscribe to my channel so you can see all my latest videos. Now let's get to work. Now my first tip dancers is I would say to try and achieve a slight oversplit. Now I'm not talking stretching on a chair or anything crazy like that. I'm just talking about sort of stretching on a foam roller or a foam block just so you achieve that slight oversplit because I feel when you're in the air and when you jump naturally the gravity pulls your legs slightly down. So if you have the advantage of an oversplit it means that in the air I'll probably see a perfect split position. So be safe when you stretch, as I say, but try and aim for that. Now, Kenzie, I'm just gonna talk you through the first exercise because what I feel is at the moment, when you do your grongettes, you're favoring your back leg. So that's really common because at your age, it is really hard to get the action of the front leg out. So I'm gonna really focus on that today. But when we're developing that leg out, it's just a little bit slow and it's not quite coordinated with the back leg. So this is what this first exercise is gonna focus on, all right? It's on the bar, so we're gonna head over here. And now we're gonna get in between, that's it. So the, holding onto the bar and the bench top. Now, if you wanna practice this at home, you could get maybe two tables in between you or you could use two chairs the backs of two chairs, something that's really secure, okay? Now, all we're going to do is you're gonna do a step with your left foot and then you're gonna develop this right leg out and what I want you to focus on is really getting both legs together in one count. So basically what I've got to see is step together. Now, just make sure that when you do your step and then you do the grand jeté that you don't try and hold the legs in the air, you're literally trying to do step, split, come down. Okay, that's all it is. Good, okay, a little bit faster with the front leg though. So this, this is really about that front leg going out, go, step out, good, bit better, very good. All right, let's give it another go. Now you're gonna try and get your front foot to touch my hand, go, step, yes, that was good. Now Kenzie, what I want you to do is actually do five of these jetés on the bar with the bench top here, about five of them in a row every day, just so you really get the muscle memory of where those legs are meant to be when you do your grongettes in the center, okay? All right, now Kenzie, we're actually gonna come into the center and I'm gonna show you two other little corrections to remember. So just come over this way. Now basically, what I'm gonna get you to do is actually just a develop a kick like this. Go. Okay, do you see how slow that was? See how it went? like this. So, devil play, obviously, we're unfolding the leg, but then I want it to be a kick, so I want it to go like that, go. Oh, still slow, I want you to do this. Step, boom. Yes, much better, all right. Now that's what I actually want you to think about in your jetés, getting that leg out really, really fast. Now, the other tip I want you to remember as well, that when you are doing this développé, see if you can actually get this knee higher. Think about this knee almost touching your nose. It won't, but think about it touching your nose and then going out. And then the foot will go ping up to the ceiling. So we go, step, boom, really fast, go, step, Yes, that's much better, okay? So that's something else I want you to remember in your jetés. We're actually gonna try a grand jeté thinking of all those elements, alrighty? So really getting that front leg out as quick as possible and the knee hitting your nose. All right, let's give it a go, come back. Okay, now go and gallop and go. Much better, wowee, that was really good. And now Kenzie, I actually want us to try and do a few in a row, alrighty, like we did originally, but this makes it a little bit harder because obviously by the third one, the stamina goes a little bit and the front leg's gonna get a little bit lower naturally. So what I actually want us to do, you're gonna hold on to me. So if I come on this side, right, you're gonna hold on to me this way and I actually want you to do gallop, step, then when you go to jump, you're gonna really use my arm, okay? You're gonna really push off, try and do that for me. So we're gonna try and do three in a row, little Kenzie, okay? On the diagonal. Now use that front leg, go! And use my arm, go! Go, go, yes, good girl. 
We're gonna try and do it once more with the music, thinking of all those corrections all at once, and obviously without me, okay? Because we want you to be able to do it by yourself. Alrighty, so let's give that a go. Now, as you can see, dancers, those little tips made a huge difference to Kenzie's jetés. So I'd really recommend you all practice all those little tips. Also, I just wanted to add in that Kenzie is actually heading to New York this April to compete in the Youth America Grand Prix. She's only nine, so if you can all comment below and wish her good luck, I'm sure she'd appreciate that. Thanks for watching, dancers. Bye.